Okay, welcome back to uh, GUI Dictionary Lesson 2. Uh, in this one, we're, we're going to actually start adding our GUI elements. Um, so far, we have got our TK Enter window. We've got a title and nothing on it. So now we want to start adding different elements. So during this lesson, we're going to add uh, four different elements. We're going to add a label, text label. We're going to add a text input uh, or entry widget, I guess it's actually called in TK Enter. We're going to add a list box where we're going to list our artists. And we're going to have a button that uh, we click, and it's going to show all the different artists uh, in our in our dictionary. Okay, so let's get started with that. Uh, so, yeah, we created our GUI. It's called our GUI window, rather. It's called root. So now we got to start adding uh, our labels and our our different elements. So we're going to start with our label, and I'm just going to call it LBL, so I know it's a label. Output. You don't have to do that, but it, it does help keep your code a little bit clearer, especially when you come back later. It's a label. Notice the capitalization, capital L. And I'm going to be putting this label onto the root window, which is the same as what you see here. And the text, so I, when I start, I want it to say ready. Just so we know it's, it's there. Otherwise, you wouldn't know it was there. So I'm going to use, for now, I'm going to use the pack method, which just kind of puts things in a column if you use the, the basics. and I'm gonna run it and see what happens. Okay, so you can see, oops, so you can see we've got, oops, it's really hard to move. Uh, we've got our GUI window and it is expanded to the exact size of our label, which says ready. Okay, so that's a good sign. No errors. And I'm gonna go ahead and just add the next three. The next one is a text, uh, we're gonna use it for text input. And again, note the capitalization. And we're gonna put this in the root. And I don't want anything to appear there, so I'm gonna leave it like that. We gotta make sure we pack it so it appears. Uh, list box, I'm gonna call it list box music, because that's kind of what we're putting in there. Musicians uh, tk enter dot list box. And again, this is also going on to the root window. So the same name. Oops, dot pack. And then the last thing I want to do is add a button. And this button I'm going to call show all. So I know what it does. It's going to show us all the things in our dictionary. Button root text equals show all. And command. So what function is it going to call? And again, just to keep your life easy, I would give it the same name here, show all as you have here. That way you know exactly what does what. You don't have to do that, but trust me, it will make your life easier much later. So then I need to go define show all. We're not passing any parameters uh, through this. And I'm just going to pass on that, so it's not going to do anything. Because right now we're just setting up the GUI. So let me run that. Okay, so there we have it. So you notice we got label output and it's TK enter and it says ready because that's what we typed there. We have a text input and there's nothing in it because we haven't entered anything yet. This is a list box which will list items in a row. And then this is a button. If I click it, it doesn't do anything because the function is empty. So that is the basics of at least, you know, we've, you know, Think about it. We've planned our. We've planned what we want to have on here. We already know what's going to look like roughly. Um, again, now you could have done, gone ahead and done the grid already and arranged all the GUI elements. But when I'm coding something, what I like to do is just get all the elements, just get it working, not worry about the appearance. And at the end, once I'm sure I have all of my buttons ready, all of my elements, then I just go ahead and start putting them uh, into the grid. It makes 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 things a little bit easier if you go in that order. Okay. So the next lesson, we'll start adding some functionality and get our program to actually do something.